Hey, I'm Ryan from The Burnout Show, and today I'm gonna to show you how to hone an engine cylinder. I'm currently working on rebuilding my Chevy 350, and I'm doing a series uh, on a lot of the steps involved in the process. I've already got a few videos up on the channel about taking apart the engine, and I plan on making some more as I move forward, so uh, definitely subscribe if you're interested in that. So honing a cylinder is basically like lightly grinding down the inside of the surface of the cylinder. And we do this to remove any imperfections in the surface, like scratches from the sides of your pistons, uh, carbon deposits that have built up over time, or basically anything that isn't clean, smooth metal. Depending on the condition of your engine and what your goals are, you might want to have a machine shop do this for you. Uh, like if you have really deep scratches from the sides of your pistons in the surface of your cylinder, or if you're trying to build an engine that's gonna make a lot of power, you should probably have a professional do this. For me, I'm building a more mild engine that's basically gonna be a daily driver. It won't make too much power, which is why I'm not too worried about doing this myself. I will point out that there are a few deeper scratches on my cylinder walls, but again, because I'm not making a performance engine, it's really not that big of a deal. So if after hearing all that, you still wanna do this yourself, good for you. <laughs> Uh, but basically what you're gonna need is a power drill and a cylinder hone. Now there's a couple different types of cylinder hones. I myself am going with the spring-loaded three stone style. The One of the most other popular kinds is the flex hone. Some people call it the dingle ball hone. Um, I just like this better. I think it does a, a better job uh, and is easy to use. So on top of that you're also gonna need some kind of oil. They do make oil specifically for honing cylinders, but really you can use anything like a, a 10, 10 W30, um, any, anything that's a little thicker, you know? A lot of people use WD-40. I wouldn't recommend that. I think it's too thin. You're gonna wanna use something that's got a little more weight to it. And it, it doesn't have to be in a can like this. I just happen to have one and it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, and then other than that, rags, because this, gets a little messy. So the first step in this process is uh, you're gonna wanna take a rag and just go in there and clean out any loose dirt or cobwebs <laughs> if your engine has been sitting out for a while like mine. Uh, and just, just get, all, get all the loose stuff out before you go because there's no reason to leave it in there. Now once you're done wiping the loose dirt out with the rag, you're gonna wanna take your oil, whatever form it's in, uh, and, and spread it around the cylinder. You don't want to put too much that it's just, you know, flowing out the bottom, but you want to make sure that you have a nice layer around the entire cylinder to make this go as smoothly as possible. So you really do want to get a decent amount in there and you want to make sure that you get some oil up around onto the top of the cylinder. Now that you've got your cylinder lubed up, you're going to want to take your drill with your cylinder hone attached and squeeze the cylinder hone so that it easily fits inside the cylinder. Now you wanna release it slowly and make sure that you leave some of the stones peeking out over the top of the cylinder. Now once you've got the stones in the cylinder, you wanna make sure that you don't move it around at all because you're gonna create scratches on the surface and some of them might be deep enough that you can't get them out. Now once you've got the stones in the cylinder and ready to go, you're gonna start spinning them and as you spin the stones, you also wanna move up and down in the cylinder. Now, when you're honing the cylinders, you really wanna make sure that you never bring the stones out past this point. Because if you get too far out on the stones, then the whole thing will just pop out of the cylinder and you're gonna create a groove at the top and possibly some scratches near the top inside the cylinder, and that would not be good. So our goal with honing the cylinder is to create a 45 degree angle cross hatching. Now the cross hatching are the actual scratches that you're leaving on the cylinder walls as you're honing the cylinder. Now the 45 degree angle cross hatching will help to make the best seal around the pistons against the cylinder walls. And the oil is going to fill in these scratches in the cylinder walls and help the piston move as smoothly as it possibly can. I find that to make the best cross hatching pattern, you wanna use a slightly slower drill speed and a little bit of a faster up and down speed in the cylinder. So you really wanna keep this going for 
a little less than 10 seconds. You, you don't want to go too long and take off too much material in the cylinder wall, but you want to make sure that you get enough of it off. Now, if the cylinder doesn't seem clean enough when you take the hone out, you can always just wipe it off and repeat the process again. So now when you go to take the hone out from the cylinder, you don't want to just yank it out. What you want to do is bring it up to the top of the cylinder, kind of like the position that we started in and stop spinning. But that has to all happen in one movement. You don't want to pull it up, stop going up and down and keep spinning or vice versa. You don't want to stop spinning and then just pull it out. Those situations will all ruin the cross hatching and potentially cause bad damage. So what you want to do is pull it up while it's spinning and stop it with half an inch to an inch of the stone out of the cylinder wall. Then again, without moving the stones or the drill at all, you want to be really careful of that. You want to squeeze the cylinder hone so that the stones are no longer touching the wall and then you're good to pull it on out. Now after all that, go ahead and grab one of your rags and wipe the cylinder walls clean so that you can do a thorough inspection and see if you need to go again. This is where you'll double check your cross hatching to make sure it's close enough to 45 degrees. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you definitely don't want it to be horizontal. That's basically all there is to it. After that, you're just gonna repeat the process for the rest of your cylinders and you're good to go. But yeah, that's just about it. So um, if you have any questions, write them down in the comments. I'll uh, try to answer them to the best of my ability. If you have any other ideas for tutorials that you guys wanna see, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get to those. Other than that, if you found this video helpful, it'd be great if you hit that like button for me. And then, you know, maybe also while you're down there, you can hit that subscribe button. Like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, I'm gonna be doing some more of these tutorials in the future. And we have a bunch of other content of other variety up on the channel, so you can go check out those as well. And we should be having some more regular content coming out this year as well. So uh, definitely subscribe, definitely hit that like button. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. So thank you for watching and I hope this helped.